Hi everyone, this is Ritesh and you are watching Dancing with Data. This is the site where I blog dancingwithdata.com and this is a site from where you can get my courses. I have put most of my courses free over there. So grab it before it becomes too late for you. You can find you can find the website names at the description as well from there also. You can click and you can get it from the comment section as well. So let us try to explore. Uh, nowadays everybody is talking about chat GPT. So with the help of chat GPT, how you can enhance the quality of your work that you deliver on a daily basis or on a project basis, so forth and so on. So basically also import other, another important factor that how it can save your task or how it can help you to automate certain tasks for which you were spending a lot of time earlier. So first of all, let us first pose this question that uh, how can chat GPT help us in our Power BI project? So let's see what it says. Okay, chat GPT can be valuable source to assist with your Power BI project in several ways, data interpretation, report, and dashboard design, data preparation, troubleshooting, calculation, data insight, best practices, Power BI features, documentation, learning resources, and project planning, but not. As we move on with this series, we will try to touch base upon all the different topics that you see, data interpretation, report and dashboard design and all. But today, this is our first session. So first of all, we need to have the data set with us. So first of all, I just want to show you that you can create some very, very useful uh, sample data set with uh, chat GPT and we'll make use of that sample data set to create a report. For example, sometimes you there is a considerable delay in getting the access to the you know development data of your project so you can have sample data set directly from the chat gpt and at least create wire wireframe and present that to the client so we'll see that part today suppose your project uh, relates to tourist data or the tourism of india right tourist department or or you are creating a story for the government and that too with respect to tourism now you want to create some mock uh, wireframe right so you don't have data set with you and you don't want to wait. So can ChatGPT help us to get that sort of data set? So let's see. So we say provide sample to this data set for India with 10 plus columns. Okay, so let's say play. And now creating a sample to this data set. Okay. Oh, wow. We are even getting the tourist name over there. <laughs> Amir Khan. Raj Patel. This is a simplified example in a real world scenario. You must have more detailed data. So like five is too less, right? Can we ask chat GPT to have more number of rows? Okay, so the next question is, can we have at least 100 rows for the above data set? So let's see if they can. Looks like we are getting Munnar, Shikesh, Uti, Goa, Jaipur. The good part is that, uh, okay, let's say, continue generating. The good part is that uh, uh, it, it is getting us the proper hill stations over there, right? Okay, now we have got at least 30. And uh, if we see, we have uh, air, train, and it, it has uh, given us the destination, duration of stay, and, and all. So for example, if this is not something that you need, maybe you, you need tourist count and all, maybe this is something really very, uh, which we can say as detailed version where you have the tourist, means you can have this as a supporting data set, but, but maybe you won't, you would like to have additional attributes over there, but then we will reserve that for later. But then, okay, let us have some analysis with these 30 rows for now. So basically we can just copy it So I've copied that to a notepad and let me just remove the last line over there. And uh, here you go, All right? Fair enough, not a problem. And I can just save this to a proper destination, chat GPT with Tableau, so I can have a separate one saying chat GPT with Power BI. Chat GPT with Power BI and save it over there. 
you can say this as tourist data okay fair enough now can we ask some insight from the data set that we have okay can we get some insights from the above data data set you know that will also help you to take decision on the kpi that you really need to have and for that we can have a separate question as well you can see uh, this makes sense right age distribution gender distribution uh, includes both male and female tourists. Uh, gender distribution appears to be roughly balanced. That's good. At right? the age of the tourist is, uh, data set ranges from early 20s to mid 40s. So, okay, that's great. Purpose of visit. The most common purpose of visit is vacation or leisure time, right? Uh, suggesting that many tourists are visiting India for relaxation and enjoyment. There is also a notable presence of tourists visiting for adventure and honeymoon. Mode of transport. Quotation means like you you get a lot of idea over there means like now after reading this if you are new to the tourist department still you can understand that what could be your you know main kpis over there that you can showcase it also shows you the popular destination it says goa and jaipur seems to be the popular tourist destination amongst those in the data set with several tourists visiting these places other destinations like manali munnar and agra are also attractive uh, visitor or attracting visitors now that's great now this is a time to you know make use of power bi and connect to that data set so let's connect here we get the power bi text okay and uh, let's go to that folder tourist data open it and here you go tourist duration of stay everything looks good and I say load. It's connecting, loading. Okay, looks great. Let's check the data set table view. Looks good. This is your report view and this is your data model view. All looks great. Uh, okay, let's go to the visual. So let us pick one out of the different uh, key factors over there. So we take popular popular destination, and we can even ask Chat GPT to you know suggest us which type of visual we should use over here. So I am asking which which visual will be better one to represent popular destinations. So let's see what it will say. Here you go. Generate. So it's it's saying a different thing like bar chart, pie chart heat map word cloud there are many options geospatial map stacked bar chart okay so these are the options that is being suggested well i love the bar chart right but in this case maybe since we are talking about geography so maybe this is not a bad option as well okay so let's go with this one as per the suggestion okay so i will go back to our uh, power bi and you can see there's an option over there for you and we'll make use of that option okay not kpi but the geography over there that you can see okay this globe and now we will uh, pick uh, destinations and uh, so we need to make some correction over there destination should be at location right instead of being so now it shows all the destination that you have or all the location right now this is fair enough now let's find that which place is having the most number of tourist count so better to have tourist count at the bubble size so now you can see uh, we can see jaipur and uh, goa being a little more popular over there Along with Shimla, you have three. So maybe you can say uh, Jaipur and uh, Goa. Remember, this is a sample size only. We are just sampling, and this will help you to create wireframes basically. Now that's pretty cool, I would say. Now can it help us to get the top five cities with with Power? With how we can do that with Power BI? Same thing we did with Tableau as well. You can check that video at my description if you are interested. So I say that how to get top five cities with respect to tourist count using Power BI map. Okay, now let us try to generate. 
the answer is what it says okay there are two ways okay so i think some of the things we have already done saw the data i think but this one the point number seven over there in both the sides this is something in which we are more interested so let's see if it can help us i think to be more precise the point number eight limit top five cities so it says you can limit the map visualization to display only top five cities by using filter pane in the filters pane click on city field and then choose the top and filters option set it to display the top five cities based on tourist scout that's interesting so right now i'm at filter pane as you can see After that, it says in the filters pane, click on the city field and uh, then choose the top and filter option. Okay, let's go. So instead of city, since we have destination, so we'll go to destination. And uh, from there, you can see you have the options, basic filter, advanced filtering and top N. And we want to show top five. And it says top five based on tourist count. So we'll have to bring in tourist count over there. So let's bring tourist ID. Tourist ID there right and automatically you can see there is count of tourist id so that is the default aggregation that you have for tourist id and here you go i think we are good uh, but then we'll have to see one more time okay i guess few of the cities are uh, you know on, on the same count so that's why you see more over there so if i say top one then you have these two cities because both are having four right so that, that is according to that so the numbers are correct only so now you you have seen that initially this is our first video only that how chat gpt is assisting you all the way it's like a co-pilot for you and in the further sessions we'll take this to the next level so i hope you like this session the introductory uh, session uh, with respect to chat gpt and power bi combination and how it can help you in in which places it cannot help you where you need to intervene and change and correct it because at the end of the day this has to pass through the eyes of power bi expert like you so you remain as important as ever so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data i see you with my next video because we'll have the series of this video till then bye bye i'll see you in the next video